Alright guys, I just wanted to go over a few of the uh, upgrades I have done to my uh, or my Outcast here. Um, I think one of the better things I've done so far is the uh, the GK, GKA front and rear braces. They weren't great. Um, put a hobby wing fan on there. Uh, that was kind of a pain in the ass actually. I had to notch it a little bit so that that pin would fit. Um, put a G, GKA uh, servo mount, hot racing bell crank, and then the, the uh, hot racing servo arm and link there too. Um, seems like the aluminum really helped out the steering you know it doesn't have half the slop it used to have in it um what else have i done to this recently oh i actually put the rpm arms on the front you know they uh had an issue with one of them it, it actually cracked a little bit the stock one so i put them on uh did do the voltage hobbies um shock tires front and rear the rear one just like everybody else's is starting to bend it was bowing right where the shocks attach now i'm slightly concerned what may happen down here now you know where it attaches onto the uh gearbox but we'll find out i guess just have to learn how not to flip this thing over um got the t-bone front bumper um i'm actually thinking about putting the rpm one on there just to see what it will do I really uh, I got I got so many ideas I just don't know what to do with it uh, I don't know which is better guys is it the you know is this t-bone bumper better or would I be better off just replace you know I even left the outcast bumper on there just kind of helps it a little bit more but anyways uh, you know I have an rpm skid plate bumper I don't know whether that'll be whether it's better or not um, I'm really debating on what to do um, I think one of the biggest concerns with the uh, T-bone is the, um, the screws ripping through there. And I come out, kind of come up with an idea. I'm still testing it to find out whether it works or not. But I put washers behind the skid plate and then thread that on there. You know what I mean? Uh, so there's four washers before, behind the skid plate. And that actually gives the countersink something to bottom out on, you know, when you're tightening it, tightening it down rather than smashing down on the skid plate. Um, I did put that chassis protector on there. It's got some scuffs, you know. It's gonna, it, it just, it, it hit rocks and stuff. It's gonna have scuffs. Uh, put the RPM rear skid plate there, and then I put RPM. Um, the willy bar mount too so you know it, it's got some upgrades on it that i felt that it needed um you know there's a few other things i'm sure i can do to it but i'm i'm pretty happy with it now oh yeah i put the orange springs on it too uh techno orange front and rear um i went with the shorter ones in the front and the longer ones in the back obviously because the two socks are you know longer and shorter so i don't know what everybody you know does with theirs um i still have the stock arms in the rear but i bought these uh from ebay let's get the rock guards and they really obviously help look all beat up they are i don't know if everybody, you know, everybody else is using these or whatever but i use them they work good um and then really all the other thing i've done is i think i broke a steering link you know the plastic end um what else have I done? I, I'm hard on it. I roll it a lot, and I, I, these come loose, and then they just, you know, the threads get destroyed, and you know, I've gone through these a ton too. Um, I don't know if anybody else experiences that. But uh, all right, guys, I just wanted to give people an idea of what I've done so far. I was thinking about going ahead and getting those, uh, the GKA. Uh, I don't know what he's calling them, but the, these, you know, the plastic pieces for in the front. These are good. He has the aluminum ones, just like that. Uh, I'm thinking about going ahead and doing that next. Uh, I really haven't had an issue with it, so I don't, you know, I may just leave it 
Uh, basically, everything I've done you know, to it now it had an issue, but the servo went bad, so I put the Savix 1210 in there. Yeah, so you can see it. Uh, that works great. That servo is working really good in here. Um, so, all right, guys. All I've really done. Oh, also, I did bake these tires. They were coming unglued anyways. I needed to go ahead and re-glue them. I baked them. And uh, I didn't use Gorilla Tape. I didn't have it. I used what I had. I had a really good 3M uh, duct tape basically and I just used a little bit of tire glue and uh, fastened it down put them back on and they balloon but nowhere near like they used to they don't balloon all that much actually it's it handles a lot better too all right well thanks for watching guys appreciate it thank you